Hello everyone, today is Wednesday the 4th of January and well, this video is the start of the new year I suppose, so happy new year I guess. Um, although you'll probably be getting this in March, the rate that I'm releasing these, but hey ho. Um, so today I have a day off, which was unexpected because I'd already had like two days off two days ago, so this is kind of, I don't know, it's, it's nice though, it just, just kind of feels relaxing. Um, so today I am getting out of the way one of the things that I've wanted to do for over a month now uh, and I only realised it was that long because I had edited the videos that said I wanted to go and check this place out so I'm going to try and get to Dean Village again this time Other than that, um, today's just basically getting things organised so I think later on I need to swing by the bank Maybe get some more shoes and phone my parents, that's about it. The only other thing that I'm doing at the minute is, um, well not right now, but I am trying to get travel arrangements organised because basically the last year hasn't allowed for it. Because it's just been a fucking screwed up year. So I'm hoping, and it's not anything to do with the fact that it is a new year, it's more just the fact that circumstances have changed a lot. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get to Aberdeen in about a week's time, and then get to Manchester sometime in February. Is the plan, anyway. If anyone's ever wondered what a hungover water feature looks like, wonder no more. So, this is Dean Village, and contrary to what I thought I would find, it is infested with tourists. Um, I thought January as well might be a safe bet for this kind of thing, but uh, unfortunately not, no. Um, it's kind of weird, in many ways it doesn't feel like a... I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a sort of a traditional village in many respects. Uh, I don't know, I've probably been ruined by uh, too many geography trips to quaint rural areas. So I suppose this is more sort of an urban house. Yeah, it's kind of a village. It's cute, it is really cute. Um, and I'm glad I have seen it now, but yeah, you know, I'm not sure what I was expecting. I think I was expecting, you know, somewhere tranquil and peaceful to just kind of wander around and. But uh, no. Even here, I cannot get away from the tourists. Also, there's these kind of cool Tudor buildings, but like they're, they're bright yellow, <laughs> they're like Advocar yellow. Um, they're nice, I really like them. <laughs> uh, I hate that colour on my inside walls, but outside walls it kind of works. Uh, so yeah, now I just need to figure out how the hell I get out of here actually. So here's a new one on me, Matcha. Um, I've heard of matcha before, it's like green tea powder and apparently it's unbelievably good for you but I've never actually tried it before so I just went to a place called the Caffeine Drip it'll be a thing um, and I got a matcha latte so you know I decided to add a load of milk to it but yeah let's, let's see what it's like Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's really watery. Um, hmm. Yeah, really watery. Um, also, I forgot this is made with almond milk. But it doesn't taste very much like almonds. It's fine, it's just... Um, it does just taste like sort of weekly brewed tea with lots of milk in it. That's, that's what it tastes like. But I mean, apparently it's really fucking good for me, so, you know. January and all that shit, whatever January is about. It was getting better actually. Maybe there's like stuff at the bottom of it. 
I'm still gonna drink it, it costs me like 320. There is something intoxicating about the smell of fresh donuts. So, I'm at the Christmas market at the minute. I decided to come in basically just to kind of have like a last look around. Um, I remember when it opened up nearly like two months ago, I had like a quick look around the place and I've not been back since. Um, so yeah, mainly I am getting food. These are like donuts on a stick or something. Oh god. Ah, ah, I'm gonna drop everything. Yeah, so, oh man, that is evil looking. <laughs> really mastery. <laughs> so yeah, um, also I did some shopping. That's, that's been my day. I'm gonna go and wipe some chocolate off my face. <laughs> so, this is my dinner and I grossly, grossly underestimated how much food I actually was putting into this. Um, this is happily enough for two people, but it's basically rice, which you can't see underneath, and then there's salmon and pan-fried vegetables and mushrooms and all sorts of amazing things in a miso broth and I'd imagine this is going to be amazing and you know just to just to really hit home the fact that I'm eating kind of Asian I guess rice beer why not oh man it's good got a bit of wasabi there but still that is damn good um also I'm watching, I don't know if you can even see this, but um, yeah, there we go. I'm watching an, an old 90s sitcom called Waiting for God. Um, I used to watch this all the time when I was like 13, 14, because uh, it was on in the mornings as I was getting ready for school, and I just, I love it. Um, the characters in it are just so brilliant. Um, it's like an elderly Sherlock Holmes, except she's a woman and she wants to basically just beat people up. It's great. Um, would recommend. So the time has come where I am spending £64 to stay one night in Aberdeen. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to, what is it, the 6th of the 1st 2017. I'm just going off the computer calendar. What is the day today? Friday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Friday. So, um, I've not really recorded much this week. Um, again, mainly because I've been trying to catch up with um, with the rest of the week. And I'm, I'm cooking dinner at the minute, which I think is going to be pretty, pretty fucking good. And it's not sort of weird Asian fusion stuff this time, so, you know, something, something different. Um, I also got a load of gluten-free stuff. Um, not because I'm going gluten-free, because fuck that. Um, but because I'm hoping to start recording a new series of swag, because the last series was, you know, dead successful. Um, I, I just kind of want to do it, to be fair, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's my hobby more than anything else. Um, so, yeah, I thought a gluten-free special would be something, because no one's really done it before. Well, that isn't already gluten-free and, you know, is therefore kind of ritualistic self-serving about it. Um, so yeah, um, at the minute I'm just trying to book a, well, it's technically a couple of trips. Um, so I'm supposed to be going down to Aberdeen in next week. Um, just because uh, Sinead's got a wedding thing, she's like, do you want to come with me? So I was like, yeah, sure, be good to catch up with the place. Um, and then I'm going to be heading down again on the 24th to the 25th, because Vic is... Her birthday is Christmas Day, but she doesn't celebrate on Christmas Day because Christmas Day is happening, you know. So um, instead, she's going to celebrate her birthday a month late on Burns Night. So we'll have haggis? I don't know. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, and I haven't yet made plans for going back to Manchester stroke Liverpool yet. Um, and I say Liverpool because uh, Ladan has moved. She's actually got her own place. She's bought her own house. Um, <laughs> So, you know, the, the virtues of, of of living at home really, really hit home. I think I hear my my food burning. I'll be right back. Belay that, I was just in time, and this thing looks glorious. I've basically made a shepherd's casserole pie thing with sausages. I'm not quite sure, but it, it started out as a sausage casserole, and I just kind of didn't know when to stop. But I am banking that this is going to be bloody nice. <laughs> 